This short video is about rim or three quadrant driving. Some power wheelchair driver controls, like head controls, offer only three active quadrants for driving the chair, left, forward, and right. The user, however, needs to have a fourth quadrant to be able to drive in reverse. We accomplish this by asking the forward command to do double duty, to operate the chair both in forward and reverse. We do this by using the programmer to make one simple change to activate a feature we call rim. When rim is enabled, the user can drive the chair forward, then use a switch, any switch, the forward command is now a reverse command. Activate the switch again, the chair is back to driving forward, the user can now operate the chair in four directions using only three active quadrants. To enable rim or three quadrant driving, plug the programmer into the chair, turn on the chair, then turn on the programmer. Scroll down to Performance Adjustment, press Select. Now scroll down to Rim, which is pretty far down the list. Once you get there, scroll to the desired drive and press Select. Simply choose On, press Select, press Save, then press Save again. Pat yourself on the back, you've done it. You'll notice now that when you turn the chair on, you'll get a red warning screen that says press reset. This happens whenever a feature is turned on in any of the drives that requires a switch to operate, such as rim. We do this to be certain there is a switch in the system so the user can never turn the chair on and be unexpectedly stranded by not being able to activate a feature on the chair. It is possible for users without access to a switch to use a programming feature we call standby select to allow the user to get in and out of RIM mode without activating a switch. To learn more about this topic, see the video entitled Standby Select. In summary, one simple change with the programmer enables RIM driving for the user. Mark 6 Electronics. Everything else is a compromise.